From her superstar socialite status to stealing the show at the royal wedding, Pippa Middleton knows how to make an entrance. But there's more to her than meets the eye. Here's the untold truth of Kate's younger sister. Pippa Middleton became a published author in 2012 with the release of her event planning book, Celebrate, a year of British festivities for families and friends. But it didn't exactly hit the New York Times bestsellers list. Middleton's mother ran a successful party planning business called Party Pieces in the 1980s. In her book, Middleton explained, I certainly have opportunities many can only dream of, but in most ways I'm a typical girl in her 20s trying to forge a career and represent herself in what can sometimes seem rather strange circumstances. Unfortunately, her book didn't live up to the hype, and her publishing company Viking Press reportedly dropped Middleton and plans for a second book. Celebrate sold a disappointing 18,000 copies. BuzzFeed News called the book, quote, painfully obvious, pointing to 19 cringeworthy excerpts that better explain why Celebrate wasn't a huge hit. For example, Middleton writes, you can cut up your chicken into portions consisting of the drumstick, thigh, breast, and wing. Or in another painfully obvious contribution, she advises, a well-wrapped gift helps express how much thought you've put into it. Don't forget to remove the price tag from the gift. It makes the perfect gift for someone who needs a recipe for making ice. It was the dress seen around the world, and we're not talking about the one Kate Middleton wore to her wedding. Her younger sister Pippa arguably stole the show in a slim-fitting ivory satin gown, but she was taken aback about the commentary it sparked online. The Alexander McQueen dress immediately went viral, mostly due to many comments about her voluptuous backside. Pippa was dubbed her royal hotness, and while the spotlight should have been on Kate and Prince William, no one could get enough of her infamous maid of honor gown. She was even accused of adding a little extra enhancement to the look, according to London spa owner Leslie Reynolds Kahn in an interview on TLC, who speculated, she's got quite a flat bottom. I think possibly for the day, for that gorgeous dress, she may have had some sort of pants that gave her a little bit of a lift or even a little bit of padding. At a 2014 Women in Advertising and Communications dinner in London, Middleton joked, As I have found out, recognition has its upside, its downside, and, you may say, its backside. While the dress was a hit with the public, Middleton insisted she hadn't intended for it to kick up such a fuss. It was completely unexpected. I think the, the plan was not really for it to be a significant dress, really just to sort of blend in with, with the train. Clearly, that didn't go as planned. Middleton used her newfound platform to the best of her ability following her sister's wedding. In addition to releasing Celebrate, she became a contributor to publications like The Telegraph and Vanity Fair. She also began a food and exercise column in Weight Rose, where she published exercise blogs for their website as well as recipes in their magazine. Not everybody was a fan of her work, however. Her brother-in-law, Prince William, reportedly disliked the idea of Middleton being in the spotlight and urged her to forego future opportunities that could tarnish the royal family. A source for the Daily Mail claimed in 2016 that he, quote, quietly and diplomatically reined in his sister-in-law, who was allegedly up for a potential roving reporter role with NBC News. She's reportedly in talks to join NBC's The Today Show as a correspondent. The gig is rumored to come with a $500,000 paycheck. The insider shared, it was felt by William in particular that she needed some guidance and support. Middleton ultimately didn't go to work for NBC, and she hasn't been nearly as active in her communications career in the years following Prince William's alleged intervention. While there's been nothing more said about Middleton's future in the media, there's been talk that she'll be one of her sister Kate's ladies-in-waiting when William becomes king. Middleton dated several rich bachelors in her day, but she finally met her match with her husband, James Matthews. Matthews is a billionaire hedge fund manager who started Eden Rock Capital Management Group over two decades ago. His company is now valued at over $2 billion. He also had a noteworthy career as a professional race car driver in the 90s. Matthews competed in the British Formula 3 Championship and also won the Euro Cup Formula Renault race. The pair reportedly were seen hand in hand in 2012, but they didn't make their relationship official until 2015. Matthews popped the question in 2016, along with an Asher cut diamond worth nearly $300,000. Wouldn't that money be better spent on a house? They could give that money to charity for a start. That'd be a great gesture. 
The couple tied the knot in a gorgeous ceremony in 2017 at St. Mark's Church in Englefield with Prince William, Kate Middleton, and several other members of the royal family in attendance. While Pippa may not be an official royal, she was given her own title after marrying Matthews. Her husband is set to inherit his father's place as Lord of Glen Affric, making Pippa the future Lady of Glen Affric. Middleton may dazzle with her chic outfits, but don't let her trendy fashion choices fool you. She's a talented athlete who's been known to trade her heels for her favorite pair of hokas and participate in multiple marathons and triathlons. The hoka brand ambassador has a particular affection for running, something that's been an escape from her daily life. In an interview with Hoka, she explained, It has brought clarity when I have felt muddled, a safe space before I make any big decision, and a sense of freedom when life's pressures weigh me down. Running and sport in general has been a constant light in my life, and I hope it will continue to be so. Middleton showed off her incredible athleticism when she completed a 33-mile ski race in 2016, an almost 47-mile swim and run in Sweden in 2015, and a 3,000-mile charity bike ride across the U.S. in 2014. She also also completed a marathon around the Great Wall of China just a year after she completed her first marathon in Kenya in 2015. Both times, she competed in sweltering conditions, placing 13th overall in women during the race in China and landing a noteworthy time of 3.56.33 in Kenya. Pippa had the mentality that whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Middleton recalled her decision to enter the charity-run Tusk Trust Safaricom Marathon in a 2015 blog post for Hello Magazine, writing, I decided that a marathon was a life box that needed ticking, and this year was my time, despite it being one of the toughest in the world. For years, Middleton battled with being stereotyped as a party girl and socialite. She might have the beauty, but she's got the brains to match. In fact, she has a master's degree from the University of Wales Trinity St. David and an impressive resume of schooling leading up to it. Middleton studied at some of the United Kingdom's most prestigious academies, including St. Andrew's Preparatory School and Marlborough College, where the likes of Princess Eugenie also attended. She completed her undergraduate at Edinburgh University in Scotland, earning her bachelor's degree in English in 2008. Over a decade later, Middleton decided to go back to school graduating with a master's in physical literacy and strategies to encourage physical activity in kids at home. Middleton managed to earn her master's while at home raising her young children, something she credits the university for making possible. In 2022, she took to Instagram to explain her passion for the subject, saying, I am passionate about sport and exercise and also love being with children. I wanted to find a topic that combined these two and felt that there wasn't enough information, knowledge, or focus on early years physical development for months particularly. I wanted to learn to not only help my own children, but to also continue work in the field to stress the importance of children moving from an early age. Middleton has found another cause that makes her heart beat. In 2014, the University of Edinburgh graduate joined forces with the British Heart Foundation when the nonprofit announced her as their brand ambassador. In a press release, Middleton wrote, I was shocked to learn that nearly three times more women die from coronary heart disease than breast cancer. I'm passionate about raising awareness among women of this killer disease, and I look forward to working with the BHF to highlight to women the risks of heart disease and, importantly, how they can reduce them. Middleton used her love of physical activity to spread awareness of the cause, participating in the 3,000-mile Race Across America Cycling Challenge and competing in the 6.5-kilometer Bosphorus Cross-Continental Swimming Race in Istanbul to fund research. She also spoke at the Roll Out the Red Ball fundraising event for the British Heart Foundation in 2020, helping to raise nearly $300,000 for the organization. But heart disease isn't the only cause close to her heart. Middleton also partnered up with the charity Too Many Women Women in 2010, an organization that helps raise money for breast cancer research. She showed off her knack for party planning at the time, putting on a Spanish-themed event that raised nearly $8,000 for research. Middleton may be the younger sister, but she definitely has the better pad. The University of Edinburgh graduate lives with her family in a sprawling 30-bedroom estate, which is reportedly far more impressive than Kate's property at Adelaide Cottage, according to an insider who spoke with The Sun. The property, situated just 20 minutes from her parents' house and in the same county as Kate, is set on 150 acres of lush ground. The luxury spread comes complete with a nearby river, a garden, and greenhouses. Another bonus for Middleton 
Hamilton and her husband is the fact that the Georgian estate was completely renovated and redecorated before they purchased it in 2021. Even so, Pips may give it even more of the upgrade, with reports suggesting she has plans to add a swimming pool to the house. All in all, the Middleton Matthews estate is valued at around 15 million pounds, which is nearly $20 million. It's a stark contrast from Kate and Prince William's current home in Adelaide Cottage, a simpler four-bedroom house at Windsor Castle that was originally intended for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. That property comes with far fewer bells and whistles and lacks enough space for live-in staff.